Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 10.15 in Honolulu, 4.15 in New York. It is Tuesday, 30th day of August, 2016, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Strong U.S. dollar absolutely plummeting precious metals today. Gold currently trading off about $13, $14 on the day. That space is COMEX at $13, $13.60. The low today has been $13.12, and the high on the day has been $13.28. When we look at spot gold or cash gold, that's trading at 1310, off about the same 11 to 12 dollars, low on the day 1309.30, and the high 1325.48. And lastly, silver, silver taking it really hard today, off about one and a third percent at $18.60 per ounce with a low of $18.58. So we're just off of the lows and the high $18.96 on the day. So traders, no doubt a pretty dramatic, a moderate sell-off in the market. Of course, a strong sell-off in gold is, you know, $25 plus, but nonetheless, a $13 a lower day to me is still a pretty moderate sell-off. But more importantly than that, since this market has broken through this uh, compression triangle that we identified, there are a couple of key distinctions that we really need to take a look at in terms of where this market could in fact find support. Now, the first thing is that I have put up an alternate model and it's a model that I'm simply tackling with right now. I looked at it a little bit over the weekend, but with this market moving lower over the last uh, couple of trading days, it really puts into light the potential that what we saw when this market hit these tops here and hit a double top, so to speak, is a what we call a truncated fifth. And you'll have to excuse me, I duplicated uh, one number and I didn't change it yet to put in this five here and this three here. Now, this is one potential model. It's not something I'm... Uh, totally convinced is the way we will see this market unfold, but nonetheless, it's important that I bring it up to you. What I mean by that is this, we saw one, we saw our two, our three, our four, and our five, which I had really estimated it taking us to about 1400 to 1435. We definitely lost a lot of wind right in here as the market then began to drift lower. And that would give us what is called a truncated fifth. It's simply an area where uh, the f you get three and five, waves three and five kind of matching in terms of their highs, and it is absolutely truncated. If that's the case, that would complete this minor third. So traders, next thing that I do want to talk about, we just exited a trade yesterday, took about a $13 hit on the trade. I did have subscribers. I put out a message yesterday that if your stop was below the stop that we had actually placed uh, to email me, I got quite a few emails. I'm sorry to report the majority of those traders have been stopped out also. And so the real question has to be at this point is where we will find some support in the market. Now, if we've truly entered some sort of fourth wave, this particular area here is really not going to hold. I've got a, a bunch of different FIB retracement levels. And what I will have completed for us tomorrow is how that looks on the big picture. In fact, I'll show you that chart in a second that we'll add it to. Uh, but to determine where we think this market could head on the downside before moving back up. Now, the other thing that we have to realize is that this was truly over the last couple of trading weeks. And I'll pull up a, a dollar chart in a second. Uh, but this was truly um, driven partially by a strong U.S. dollar. So, for example, when we take a look at today's activity, we're down about uh, 12 dollars 12 and a half dollars on the day and of that seven and seven dollars and thirty cents is due to a strong dollar with only five dollars and ten cents due to normal trading on the day which is what has given this market the kind of pressure that we're seeing now as far as silver goes uh, as i said silver down now about 23 cents one and a quarter percent at 1861 Markets under pressure and the key critical area that it would need to hold has got to be the 61% retracement at about 1850. 
So traders, when I was talking about my big picture chart, that's really this one. I've got it in daily format. I keep it in either daily or weekly, depending on how I'm looking at it, but I'm looking at a tremendous amount of time and we have our count back to the record top at 1900 plus per ounce. And so when we look at recent activity in terms of uh, what we've just seen, really one, a two, a three, a four, a five, then we go into an ABC correction here. That takes us to about 1200, brings us into a next series of impulse. And if that's correct, and if we have our truncated wave here, meaning our one, our two, three, four, and then a truncated five, and this is a wave four, then we need to take a look at this range here and then plot uh, different fib areas, 23, 38, of course, the various levels down to determine where, in fact, the market could go to. Now, until we get a break, and let me go ahead and kind of widen this, uh, but a break below these recent lows. In other words, we have equal, <coughs> excuse me, we have equal highs now up here, but now we also have equal lows. And so you can see that we've been trading, oscillating within this range, whether or not we'll get a bounce here really will determine whether I think on a technical basis we could see a deep retracement or, or if we've got to reevaluate our model and we can expect support in this area and a bounce to ensue in the market. That's what we'll be tackling over the next couple of days. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow on Wednesday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye. <music>